Nityanandam, today is a very, very auspicious day. Today, after 28 days of fasting, Samayapuram Mahamari completes her Pachai Patni Gadan. As we all know, for the welfare of humanity, to protect, to heal the world from coronavirus, Swamiji, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam also had taken up the Pachai Patni Vratam. And today he is completing the Vratam along with Devi Parashakti, accepting the Maheshwara Puja today. And today, Swamiji is completing his Pachai Patni Vratam, the fast that Swamiji had taken up very, very integrated in authentic way, completed it for the purpose of healing the humanity from coronavirus. This Maheshwara Puja that is happening is very special as it is the first time Devi Parashakti Mahamari is accepting the Maheshwara Puja. And of course, out of Swamiji's compassion, absolutely there was no need for Swamiji to take up this fast, but just for our sake, to protect us, Swamiji himself had taken up this fast. And one more, such a compassion of Swamiji is that today's Maheshwara Puja can be offered for all those people that had left their body because of coronavirus absolutely free of cost. You can register and offer the Maheshwara Puja for those people that lost their lives, who have lost their lives due to coronavirus, absolutely free of cost. Yet another dimension where Swamiji is just completely showering us, taking care of us, protecting us, and just being there for us. It just reminds me of this beautiful Leela Paramashiva from Madurai. Once when Madurai is, was going through its own crisis with the flood in the river Vaigai. The kingdom decided to send the soldiers, do everything it can to protect Madurai. But they, were not have, they did not have enough hands. So then the Pandya king ordered that every single family has to send a male to work on the dam and protect the village, to protect the city. So every household did that, except for on one old woman, Vandi. She did not have anyone in the house to go, any man in the house who could go do this work to protect as part of her household responsibility, there was no single male could go for that work. However, the soldiers would not leave her alone. They demanded that someone has to come from her house to do this work, to do the build the dam, to stop the flood entering the city. At this time, Paramashiva, out of his eternal compassion, takes a form of a coolie of a labor and volunteers and tells, I can do that work. But 
this vandi this party this grandma has to pay him she says i'm an old woman i don't have anything to pay except this put what we call as put as a as a breakfast food parmashiva in the form of the boy of this labor accepts gladly accept he says okay i can take that and i will eat and i will go to this work so she makes all the delicious pitta for him and this labor this parmashiva in the form of labor just happily eats all the pitta that this old woman had made for him and he eats fully and finally just goes to where he had to do his part in filling the dam but happily sleeps as the soldiers come the king is in rounds to make sure everybody is doing their part in filling the dam but this labor alone parmashiva in the form of labor alone is happily sleeping on the side the king gets so mad tries to get him up and says go do the work and of course parmashiva this budge and the king gets mad and just he takes a stick and beats not knowing whom he is hitting of course as he hits this so called labor this kuli that beating was felt by every single being including the king who beat him of course parmashiva vanished and the king realized the gravest mistake that he has done this is such a beautiful incident a leela that was done by parmashiva one to accept the love of this old woman this one be to be fed by her to liberate her and also this leela that parmashiva has done to protect the city of madurai and also to teach a great lesson to pandya king as well as the whole town of madurai that he exists in every single being such a beautiful incident such a beautiful leela that parmashiva has played there is absolutely no need he could have just prevented the vaige from overflowing he could have done any miracle without him becoming a labor laborer and him getting beaten by the king but he goes through that just to teach us a lesson and of course in liberating the vandi we are so fortunate that not only parmashiva gives us a glimpse not only he appears and disappears he is there for us with us in physical form as bhagwan shri nityananda parmashiva not only that he is experiencing not only that he is established in the space of parameshwara but going through everything possible to help us realize the space of parameshwara again and again even if we forget our purpose of life he reminds us he gives us various opportunities to experience that one such opportunity is the parameshwara level 2 that is happening just the first batch just got over yesterday and of course swami ji out of his compassion did not wait to start the next batch the next batch starts today if you have not enrolled yet don't waste time you can still participate by registering at parameshivoham.org forward slash level 2 every single being that has participated in this in this cosmic happening it's just overflowing with gratitude today i want to share an experience from dr shanti from bangalore sharing her experience of all the various dimensions of parameshwaram and how she's experiencing that space of parameshwaram let us watch i'd like to share little more details and experiences about the parameshwara home level 2 we just got over today we had amazing nityananda yoga sessions yoga happening 
which gave us a lot of breakthrough at the body level and the mind level. The tamas that is so deeply rooted in the body, easily I was able to break it and experiencing the highest energy, inner potential energy awakening, the Kundalini awakening. And the body became so flexible, energetic, experiencing oneness with the source, Paramashiva and Parashakti, bringing intense joy and bliss. And the Nitya Puja, Atmartha Puja, Guru Puja and Shiva Puja took us to a different dimension altogether, bringing the deep silence, the vibrant silence inside us so effortlessly when people from more than 85 countries, more than 1000 of us sitting and offering puja, connecting to the source is not a simple thing, cosmic happening. It's such a blissful and an amazing experience, which is very close to my heart. That space where we can talk, we can relate so beautifully to Paramashiva and Parashakti. In Hinduism, every aspect, everything that is told in the scriptures, everything about Hinduism is Sanatana Hindu Dharma is real. Whether it is Puja, Yoga, the way we dress, the way we cook, the way we live, the, and the way we relate with ourselves and with the source and with life comes from the very core, our being. These, the way of living, the lifestyle, Charyapada of Puja, Nitya Puja, Yoga, the morning ritual and listening to the power of Satyas from Paramashiva Jnana making it as part of us. Our, as our powerful cognitions, which are directly of use in our day-to-day -day life. Whatever profession we may be pursuing, these powerful cognitions directly help us to live life from a beautiful space of possibility and a power, being powerful insight, able to manifest whatever we want in different aspects of our life, whether it is the dimension of health, wealth, or having beautiful relationships, fulfilling relationships, our career, whatever it could be, that is so empowering. That is the beauty of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Every word is practical and livable especially when Paramashiva comes down as our Guru, Avatar, gives us in a way that we can use it in a very user-friendly manner. In this aspect, every single day I have enjoyed all the dimensions, all the different, different aspects of this happening, Paramashiva home too, the morning uh, pre -sat, the pre satsang sharing as autobiography avatar directly it would transmit that space of whatever experience that whatever the life avatar has gone through as a child in Tamil Nadu in Tirvanamalai directly the experience was getting transmitted to my very being and the satsangs where the powerful, powerful cognitions are shared in day to day morning satsang would just get downloaded into my very inner space. Whole day, though we would sit and enjoy the different dimensions of the program for 16 hours, the body and mind did not feel tiredness. Such an intense, amazing happening, which has given us a breakthrough in the way we relate with ourselves, the way we relate with everyone and life as a whole. I'm sure each one of us can vouch for the transformation that has happened in our very core, which we are yet to explore. Always with Swamiji's programs, I have seen whatever we experience during the program, we are going to explore experience in much more depth when we start living all of them 
effortlessly, very easily, in a joyful manner in our day-to-day -day life. It's so fortunate. We are so blessed to be part of this program. Definitely, I would request everyone who wants to experience a conscious breakthrough, a transformation, an inner transformation. Every seeker would not let go of this opportunity, should always explore, especially when we have so much of time. People are saying, I don't know what to do, sitting at home all the time, can't go, cannot do anything other than few options of working for few hours on from home. For all of them, this is the best opportunity to explore and experience multiple possibilities of ourselves. Thank you. Life is only for those who say yes to Paramashiva. Life is not, definitely not, for those who just stand in the sidelines and just watch life go by. Oh, maybe the next, maybe the next. You'll be just standing there. If you have gone to a train station and just standing there waiting, not boarding a train, and just standing there watching, and you just see, watch one train after the other, just go by, and you're just standing there, you're not going to get anywhere, unless we make a decision to move, to take the step forward, we will be just standing there. And of course, the sad part is, if you stand there long enough, people may start throwing coins at you. So let's not allow that to happen to us, especially when Paramashiva is giving us opportunities. Let us take it. Nothing ever could go wrong by trusting Paramashiva. Paramashivoham, dot, Paramashivoham level two is such a great blessing that we do not want to miss, especially at these times. So register yourself and join the program that's starting today. Regist you can register at paramashivoham.org forward slash level two. Let us now get a glimpse of Paramashivoham from Paramashiva himself. Nityananda. It is time now all the beings should receive Paramashiva. Paramashiva will be there. You will all be manifesting Paramashiva. If 10,000 of us can sit together and manifest the being of Paramashiva, not only we will heal the coronavirus, in the whole world, we will give a super conscious breakthrough to the world. Nityanandam, let's start with the manifestation session. Let's sit straight, visualize Bhagavan in third eye and start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukadam Kevalam Yana Murtin Vanvaditam Gagana Sadusham Tatvamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Dhanalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavati tam triguna rahitam sadgurum tam namami. Nityanandam, welcome to Sri Kailasha Kotiyar Manifesting Pass session. Welcome everybody. Such a great news, such a great blessing to become the beings of Paramashiva. The Sri Kailasha itself happening all around the world, how Bhagwan said 10,000 people all around the world radiate the state, space, powers, super consciousness 
and Sri Lake Kailasha of Paramashiva, the whole world will be shifted to the new cognition, new way of enlightened civilization opening up for the humanity. The highest possibility that Bhagwan has given just to radiate Bhagwan. And he said at the end of the program, what can you expect? You will be gone and Paramashiva is going to manifest through you as reality. Such a beautiful thing that the whole humanity is now earning for to become the space, state, power, superconsciousness of Paramashiva. Again and again, living in the presence of Master, simply he said, in your home, I'm going to be living 16 days completely with you and manifesting all that you want and completely being in oneness with Paramashiva for 16 days, what will happen? That person will be lost. That person will not be there. The outer identity is gone and simply Paramashiva is the only one which exists. Again and again, Bhagavan raises us to the higher reality, higher consciousness. What would happen if we don't have this, we don't have that? It is like asking what would have happened in the dream. I did not uh, do this shopping, that shopping. I did not finish this work, that work. I forgot to talk to this person, that person. It is the dream waking us up to the reality, the existential reality. Nothing is lost. Everything is there in a higher consciousness, higher di definition, dimension. And we can experience that all one and the same in deep oneness. And deep core of us, Bhagwan himself manifesting as everything. When we start understanding the reality, we start manifesting instead of having the reactionary assumptions. Again and again, he is making now the Tyaga as reality. Filling our hearts with Paramashiva that we forget who else was there inside us. With that beautiful space, let's go to the Shastra Pramana today. The Shastra Pramana for the power of remote vision is taken from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra 85, Dharana 62. Leenam Moodhni Viyat Sarvam Bhairavatvena Bhavayet Tat Sarvam Bhairavakara Tejas Tattvam Samavishet Leenam Moodhni Viyat Sarvam Bhairavatvena Bhavayet Tat Sarvam Bhairavakara Tejas Tattvam Samavishet Such a beautiful sutra, Sutra 85, Dharana 62 from Vijnana Bhairava Tantra beautifully translates, one should contemplate the whole etheric space, which is the nature of Bhairava, the source consciousness, as if it's pervading and absorbed in the crown of the head. Then one experiences everything as the form of infinite Bhairava enters into the self-luminous light of his infinite all-pervading nature and powers. Swamiji beautifully says in one satsang, the gratitude is the only thing that we perceive which is beyond the mind. The ultimate space of gratitude simply starts flowing in us once we understand the higher reality, the higher purpose, higher consciousness, how we are selected in the best college or the best job, the highest paid, and how we'll be so gratitude towards whatever we want to is helping us to achieve that. Same way here, Bhagavan is making us experience the highest reality. All we need to have is a little gratitude and simply he flowers in us as an ultimate space. Bhagavan has already seen the future as the enlightened civilization, giving us all the ultimate space of oneness to experience that. The whole etheric space the very nature is the Bhairava, the source of consciousness, waking us up from the dream of illusionary confusion, conflict, guilt, compare, all kinds of emotion, all kinds of thought currents, 
all kinds of physical problems, whichever layer of pain we are going through is simply he is taking us to understand the greater reality, the one experience everything as an infinite Bhairava. When we start understanding that the whole existence, the whole space around us is infinite power and infinite intelligence. The more and more we are possessed by Paramashiva, the more and more we understand the infinite possibility in us, the manifestation that we can do as infinite possibility. Right now, without consciously, we are manifesting and even now we are experiencing that. But with consciously, that Paramashiva is manifesting through us, the more and more we give the space for Paramashiva in our heart and less and less of ourselves inside, the more and more we will realize it is infinite possibility. It is not limited. The I is the limited version, which always want to be attest always want to be verified, always given a grant, like something has to be, that I has to be again and again certified. But when you let go that certify I and fall into the space of Paramashiva, simply we start experiencing the infinite Bhairava in us that is constantly manifesting as reality and such a beautiful space of oneness we fall into the ultimate nectar inside our heart. With that, let's go to the instruction today. So now we're going to do the remote view of translating unknown languages. Such a beautiful revelation that Swami had once given. The me in me, the pure consciousness, is the canvas on which the deep sleep, dream, waking states are painted. The painting colors may be different, but the quality on the canvas, quality of canvas, this is true through which I manifest Paramashiva in me through all these three states. Paramashiva penetrates all the three states of consciousness and simply makes us understand the three are state completely without thought and being in the oneness space completely in the space of creativity, manifesting your reality. Again and again, he looks, ask us to look at the canvas. Once he beautifully said, when we realize that we are the canvas, not the painting, all the painting that is there does not affect the canvas. The canvas simply exists beyond the painting what is painted on that. If there is a fire painted, it does not get affected. If it's the disease painted, it does not get affected. If it is water painted, it does not get dissolved. It's just there. Same way how our dream continuously happens. So many traumas, so many pleasures, so many things that we go through, but it cannot affect the space of Paramashiva in us. The infinite Bhairava, which is in us, which is manifested into whatever we are perceiving understanding that that everything is part of us already and simply need to manifest through us so you can take up any language and start penning down the translation once the meditation is over we can start seeing the translation and verifying it so let's sit straight visualize bhagwan in third eye Bhagwan used to conduct uh, kalpatrus in different, different languages. It used to be so beautiful in Russian, in Chinese, in Slovakian, in all kinds of languages. And sometimes the translation will not be there and still he would just be able to translate into any languages. Such a beautiful space of oneness. Bhagwan once blessed uh, Balasans that he would just talk in Tamil. We don't have a person for the next day. We were discussing how we would conduct this program. And simply he called one of them and said, tomorrow you conduct and you will be able to talk. And he's a different language kid, Telugu. And he simply con conducted in front of everybody in the television. And he simply was able to speak in Tamil fluently. And we have seen in Paramashivam program also, one French kid, she was not able to 
speak in English. She was crying and she went to Darshan and asked Swamiji, can you download this uh, English language for me? And after that, she started speaking. And when she started speaking, the greatest wonder was she did not have even the grammatical errors. When we start speaking, how we struggle with the language initially. She had a continuous flow of language, which was shocking for all of us. Many times we have seen many kids picking up different languages just like that, especially Sanskrit. Simply by listening a few times, they're able to repeat it without any error as Ega Sandagragi. So all this possibility already exists in us. Sarvanyatva, Bhagavan says, when you are in the space of Paramashiva, you are in the space of Sarvanyatva. Simply you can manifest any reality, downloading any knowledge from anywhere. So here, let's contemplate on the great truth Bhagavan has given. Contemplate continuously and chant the Maha Vakya, the Mantra Diksha that Bhagavan has given, holding that beautiful darshan in your heart. The heart simply opens up and connects to the higher reality when we chant the Maha Vakya and feel the oneness with Bhagavan. Again and again, fill your heart with Bhagavan's darshan and chant the Maha Vakya completely and literally your whole body vibrating and with your mind fill it with the all the great truth and contemplate continuously so when you are locked in all three of them simply it opens up the higher reality and you can manifest whatever is in front of you you want so let's sit straight with your head neck and back in a straight line let's start contemplating on the great truth and visualize Bhagavan in your third eye. Hold the darshan in your heart continuously and chant the Maha Vakya Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham.
ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕಿಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಐ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ and then slowly they confident that they are doing it i can see it i can hear it i can do it those are the space of a child in anything the curiosity of a child simply they manifest the powers same way whatever bhagwan has shown simply it will be beautifully correct but more and more you aligning to the highest reality and authenticity will make you more confident that you can manifest bhagwan any time holding bhagwan in your heart everything is a manifestation of bhagwan please share all that in sri kailasha kotiyar manifesting power group and the tiny url ring the link is tinyurl.com/powermanifestation you can type this and record in your own languages or in your own words the highest beautiful space that bhagwan has given us for us to go on and share the ultimate space of oneness the more and more we share more and more we enrich and cross the inner space becomes beautiful because what we cherish is what we start seeing in others everyone everything is a reflection of us continuously holding that beautiful space of oneness with parameshiva by enriching is pulling us out of delusion and causing other people in the world is simply possible when you start living that oneness space as yourself so beautifully bhagwan has given the ultimate program for us parameshwaram level 2 the really weighted program for all of us getting one darshan from bhagwan this most weighted space for all of us so go ahead and register yourself in nityananda hindu university dot org slash daily hyphen satsang and enrich and share with as many people as in the world that this possibility has opened up right from your home you don't have any travel charges you don't have to do anything except just 
be have an appointment with Bhagwan for 16 days to lose yourself, wake up into a new reality. When you walk out of that room, you will be a new being above and beyond the space of human and raise yourself into the higher reality. And simply it is possible by just going and registering yourself and taking it to the next level of whatever you need to do for 16 days for you to be free just with your Bhagwan. Again and again, Bhagwan gives the ultimate possibility for us to open up into the higher reality. What more we have asked if we can be beyond the death, beyond the sufferings of humanity and raise ourselves in the highest consciousness. Again and again, he is opening up the next dimension. He said, this is not a trailer, but this is the movie itself. The trailer, whatever he did was a trailer. How could this movie be? And what could the movie be? And how beautiful the experience would be. The ultimate experience that he is going to share with all of us for us to pull us out of the delusion, it's next to impossible. And simply we'll be trying for Janmas and Yuhas. There's a beautiful story of Narada coming and seeing two sages. One was sitting in the anthill and suffering and want to get enlightened. And the other was dancing under the tree and to get enlightened. And when Narada came to the sages and the sages asked when I will get enlightened, the they asked to ask God and come back. Narada came back and told to the ant hill sage that he has two, three more births and he was so frustrated that the struggle is too much that he cannot bear. The other sage was dancing under the tree. Narada said, as long as, as, as many as there are leaves in this plant, in this tree, you have births before you get enlightened. He was so happy and more rejoiced that there is an end to it and there is Bhagavan that he can see and experience as enlightenment. When he was in more intense joy that he can meet Bhagavan, simply he got liberated immediately. The most beautiful space of understanding the higher reality is possible for us. Again and again, being in the space of oneness, waiting for Bhagavan in deep seeking and gratitude and letting Bhagavan take us to the higher reality simply will make it possible immediately. So when he gave the space for Bhagavan to immediately pull him out, all that leaves simply withered away and simply he was liberated. But because the other sage said, I have to suffer so many and still the eye was holding on, he was not able to go beyond and let go his eye and be in the space of oneness. This 16 days is the ultimate that we have waited for yugas, janmas, and simply the intelligence in us have to open up to the higher reality. We came down to celebrate Paramashiva. We came down to be living as Paramashiva, celebrating Paramashiva, enjoying Paramashiva, and manifesting Paramashiva. To be in that space, Bhagavan has opened up this Paramashivoham level too. Don't miss that at any cost. If you're a deep seeker and you are waiting for liberation, this is the ultimate gift that Bhagavan has given. Do not get confused. Is it possible? How is it possible? How do I do home activity or my kids or anything? Because Bhagavan is going to manifest everything. He'll take care of those also small things. When he can manifest you into becoming Paramashiva, can't he manifest your household work or your office work or anything else? Just be in the oneness space and understand this is a higher reality that has come down, descended on humanity now and share with the greatest happening in the humanity with everybody with such a joy. By the time the program starts, you'll be liberated. Go ahead and cause as many people as possible because causing is where your space defines you. It is not other person coming to the program, but it is your space. It is a liberation for you. Anugraha, that you are pulling yourself out to the reality. 
That is why Bhagavan keeps saying, cause as many people as possible because that is our reflection, who we are. Look at it from the higher cognition, higher definition, conscious maturity, that causing other people is nothing but you yourself is reflected in all others and you yourself are causing yourself into the higher reality. All the great things that Bhagavan has given is for her liberation. Money has no value, time has no value in the next uh, dimension. It is beyond the, all the delusion that we have in this world, the self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, time issue, money issue. Anything is only limitation is in the, this world. More and more we cause, we prepare ourselves for the program and prepare ourselves to the higher reality. So with that beautiful space, let's go ahead and share with as many people as possible and cause their lambda human to the next dimension of consciousness as Paramashiva himself. With that greatest happening, let's surrender all that great truth and powerful cognition and power manifestation to Swamiji's lotus feet, to Bhagavan's lotus feet. Again and again, when we surrender to Bhagavan's lotus feet, we raise ourselves more into the space of Paramashiva, oneness with Paramashiva. And with a deep gratitude and a deep seeking, ask Bhagavan, irrespective of what's happening in your life, ask Bhagavan to Paramashivoham level two to become reality in your life. To sit just with Paramashiva for 16 days, realizing the Paramashiva in you, the space of oneness when you which is making this body and the mind even function so with that deep gratitude let's hold swamiji in third eye and end the session with the purna mantra Purnasya Purnamataya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityanda Parmashivam Padukarpanam Astu Om Nityanandam Thank you everybody. Don't forget to register in the Nityan and the University. Right now, don't think about anything. Just jump in, dive in. That's how we have breakthroughs in life. Thank you. See you in the next Tatsang Nityanandam.